Mr. Robert W. Gordon, the Deputy Director of the American Institute in Taiwan, has made extraordinary efforts to enhance bilateral relations between the Republic of China, Taiwan, and the United States of America. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, in accordance with the regulations governing the awarding of medals, hereby confers upon Mr. Gordon the Friendship Medal of Diplomacy in recognition of his outstanding contributions. Given in Taipei on the sixth day of the sixth month of the 107th year of the Republic of China, corresponding to the sixth day of the sixth month of the year 2018 in the Bulgarian calendar. On the floor today. This is in recognition of his contributions to the long-standing relationship between Taiwan and the United States. We could not have found a more deserving recipient. For the past three years, I've gotten to know Rob and his wife, Jessamine. Uh, they have become very good friends of mine. I've gotten used to the fact that I can call Rob at all times, at all hours, uh, during the day, and sometimes even during the evening. And he will always be ready to respond. I have also appreciated uh, the many meetings, lunches, and dinners we have had together, which have contributed to both of our restaurants. Uh, I know Rob has a deep fondness for Taiwan, not the least because Jasmine is originally from Kaohsiung, but he has uh, had an uh, abiding belief in the values we share and the interests Taiwan and the United States can become. With it's, it's a tremendous honor for me to be here today and receive this friendship medal of diplomacy. The past three years have been one of the most, re most rewarding periods in my career. I'm enormously proud of what AIT has achieved under the leadership of Director Moy and with the work of all of my extraordinarily talented colleagues, many of which are here today with me. As importantly, we have benefited from an incredibly strong working relationship with our many friends in Taiwan, including here at the Foreign Ministry. And I want to especially express my deep appreciation to Foreign Minister Wu, He's, uh, who's been such a strong supporter of U.S.-Taiwan ties for decades, and with whom we have worked so well and so closely. Thank you. Um, nothing better represents the progress we've made over the past several years than next week's dedication ceremony. When Director Moy and I arrived in Taiwan three years ago, we set out the goal of modernizing AIT's operations to prepare them better to support U.S.-Taiwan relations for decades to come. Our new facilities in Nehu are a big part of that. But we all, we've also done much to update AIT's operations to ensure we're positioned well to continue to build and strengthen U.S. ties, U.S. Taiwan ties. We also set out to make AIT more open and accessible to the Taiwan public, and to do a better job of explaining all of the things AIT, AIT does to support Taiwan. And I, I feel confident that we've set AIT and the U.S. Taiwan relationship up for success for many years to come. And at a minimum, I know we've made our Facebook page much more entertaining than it ever was before. <laughs> um, from expanding the Global Cooperation and Training Framework Program, as Minister Wu mentioned, and getting Taiwan into the Global Entry Program, to pushing through a large defense package last summer, and building unprecedented cooperation on North Korean sanctions, we've achieved many breakthroughs over the, over the past three years. And I could go on uh, to list dozens and dozens of more examples. But perhaps the most significant one is how we work together through two transitions of administrations, one in Taipei and one in Washington, ensuring that the U.S.-Taiwan relations stayed strong throughout. And uh, I have to say, it was particularly impressive for me to come back to Taiwan and see Taiwan's democracy at work again in the presidential election, and to be reminded of what a great example Taiwan um, can be for everyone throughout the region and elsewhere. 
So as, uh, as Foreign Minister Wu just mentioned, this is my, my fourth time at AIT over the past 30 years, and it's gone by way too fast. And it's really with deep regret that it's time for me to move on again. However, uh, as you know and as obvious by my history, I don't usually leave Taiwan for very long. Uh, and, and, and how could I when we have such great friends and supporters like Minister Wu? So uh, before I end, I, want, I do want to take a moment to also thank my wife Jasmine and my daughter Emily who I'm so happy to be with here, be with us here today. Um, none of us could succeed, and certainly uh, myself included, uh, without the strong support we received from our families. Finally, I just want to again say thank you. Thank you to Foreign Minister Wu for your support and your friendship. Thank you to all of our colleagues in the ministry who worked so hard to keep U.S.-Taiwan relations strong. And thank you to all of my AIT colleagues on whose behalf I accept this award. It's their hard work that's made all of this success possible. So again, thank you, Minister, for this great honor. Thank you.